one uh, statement uh, which, uh, which I'm thinking for a long time. I think we are taking big steps back into the 19th century when we thought that with ranking uh. or categorizing everything that we would suddenly understand the world, but mm. we don't. Mm. Like, you know, uh, when you see all these uh, botanists who categorize plants and that they were counting and that they thought, oh, now suddenly I understand. But I think we don't understand anything. I think we have other trends or we should, and also universities should uh, pay, um, yeah, pay attention to other things. Yeah. I think it is, first of all, because I'm from publishing, uh, I can say that I think that the the ranking, uh, the highly index or the time of the highly indexed journals, for example, I think it's over, because as you, I mean, you also you know how it's calculated. It doesn't. It is calculated by the average of the citations of the of a journal in the last three years. Hmm. So that means when I have. Uh, published a brilliant paper which has been downloaded so and so many times, that doesn't mean that you are so brilliant, it's just me who is so brilliant. <laughs> and therefore, I think, I mean, so uh, we live in a digital age, yeah. so this system, uh, this is, it's trying to trick us and it's trying to sell the wrong results to us mm -hmm. because um, it's just based on an average so but I think I mean now in the uh, so in the technical instruments we have much more the opportunity just to say oh your paper has been interested to so and so many people and by the way you have a huge fan group in South Korea we can do that mm. and then also I mean your university would say oh Possibly, I look for a memorandum of understanding with the University of South Korea, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I don't look to Frankfurt anymore because mm. I don't have a fan group there. So th there so is some sort of democratization of mm -hmm. the playing field.